Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I'm back to talk about my little strategy that I am running in Hardcore Trade to try and generate myself a Paradoxica, but it can be used to run really quick Katarinas or to just get as many Masters as you can and as many missions as you can, kind of pretty much solo self found, uh, but you can buff this up with uh, extra watchstones and everything like that as well. Now I found that this is uh, my best way of doing it, especially this early in the league, so if you're around this kind of uh, like two watchstones per zone or one watchstone per zone uh, type of situation. You can do it later in the league and everything like that as well, or you can do it now. Um, but uh, right before we just jump into that, just quickly, if you do like this kind of helpful video, then hit that sub button down below. Uh, it really just means that my videos get to more people and means that I can share as much as I can with everyone. But let's get right into it, shall we? Chill done. Now, uh, my character that I'm running is a General's Cry, Cry character. It's fair, fairly slow, but it's pretty good at doing betrayal. It just kills uh, the betrayal leaders very quickly and everything like that. But as you can see on my board right here, I have two zones. I only have two zones with watchstones in them right now. I do have a few watchstones over here. Um, and, you know, I'm up to what, like, yeah, eight, nine watchstones, something like that. But uh, Valdo's Rest and Haywark Hamlet are where I'm focusing. Now, in Haywark Hamlet, we do have right here, we've got a Focused Investigation, which gives Jun missions in areas granting increased favor. We don't really care about that unless we want some decorations. But obviously, the areas have a 10% chance to grant an additional Jun mission on completion. This is pretty important because this is where we're going to be running our maps without master missions on them and just trying to speed run the maps. So, uh, speed running as many Haywark Hamlet maps as you can. Uh, now, I'm still, I, I just need to do one more map here. I, I've been trying to drop any of these maps over here, but I haven't dropped it. But once I get my second passive, it's going to go straight into Intelligence Gathering. This means that, once again, we don't have to run Jun missions in Haywak Hamlet, um, but we will be granted 10 Intelligence for a random Immortal Syndicate safe house every time we complete a map. Now, this just generates, uh, obviously, just Intelligence for those safe houses. And once you complete the safe houses, you then generate Intelligence for your Mastermind, for Katarina. Which means that as you're just running maps randomly here, you're just going to be, you know, stacking things up. Now the big juice is where we uh, come to Valdo's Rest for. Uh, Valdo's Rest gives us Test of Loyalty, giving Immortal Syndicate members a uh, 100% chance to gain an additional rank, which is very, very nice. Especially if you're going for that Paradoxica, because Paradoxica drops, as far as we know, it drops from uh, three-star ranked members in uh, Immortal Syndicate safe houses. And then we've also got Gut Instinct. So defeating an Immortal Syndicate member in area, Ares grants five intelligence for the current encounter safe house if it's if they're not interrogated, right? Um, so this just means once again we just get a bunch of that uh, that interrogation up for all of our members. All of this combined. So basically the strat it's very simple. Uh, run your maps in Haywark Hamlet uh, without any Jun missions, and then run your Jun missions in Valdo's Rest. So every single time you get a Jun mission, you get a bunch of levels and uh, Mastermind. Uh, sorry, not Mastermind, but um, Intelligence for your uh, for your uh, safe houses right there. Now, one little thing that you are seeing uh, me do here as well is I'm actually only socketing in my Watchstones here. Now, what this means is all of these other maps here, uh, they can only be going up to tier 5, whereas all of these maps here, they start at like tier 8, right? Tier 7, tier 8. So what this means, if I'm running tier 7 maps here, uh, most of the maps that I am dropping are only going to drop in Haywark Hamlet or Valdo's Rest. Say, for example, if I had, you know, one watchstone here, I had one watchstone over here, I had another watchstone over here, right? I could then drop tier 6, tier 7 maps in these other areas as well, very much diluting the pool of maps that I do drop. So, if you're only running with these here, and this can be scaled up, right? You can you can put, you know, uh, four watchstones, four watchstones, and have like two watchstones everywhere else. So you're only going to be dropping those kind of T14 to 16 maps here. Um, but this is kind of the lowest level that I would say is two watchstones in Valdos and one watchstone in Haywark. You could potentially do one watchstone in Valdos, but I like two, two here as well. Um, but that's basically the whole strat that I'm using with all of that. Now, as I said, this can be used just to generate uh, lots of masters to kind of get their missions. You can run them randomly to just get your Katarina mastermind up if you want as quick as possible. Or you could be a little bit more specific. Now, right now, I wanted at this point to be able to have a bit of a guide for you of kind of the tier four rooms for Katarina. Like what are the best rooms to go for? What are the best 
tier three uh, people to have. Uh, however, right now, uh, I don't have full solid information of all of the tier four rooms and I'll be trying to figure that out. And I think a lot of other people are at the moment. However, if you do want some good uh, information, uh, poelab.com slash syndicate hyphen cheat sheet is actually really, really great right now. Now it's not fully updated. I think there's a couple of changes to certain people here. I think things like, um, uh, I think Hillock, the map quality is actually changed uh, to Abyss Scarabs now. I think there's a couple of other things that are changed in here. However, this is a really, really nice uh, kind of, um, uh, well, cheat sheet, I guess you could say, that will really help you trying to figure out where best to put people. I'll put the link down below if you want, you know, bookmark it. Right up the top here, you can, you know, choose Masters. I, you know, I've got Riker and Janus in my, uh, in my fortification. So what are they going to get? We're going to get currency shards from Janus. And we're going to be able to take a unique from Riker here as well, right? Now, uh, this uh, might not be updated uh, for the 3.14 changes. Uh, but uh, I'll let you guys know and I'll make a really, really good video, hopefully, when we do know everything about those tier 4 masters. So you guys can uh, make the most out of your Katarina as well. But for right now, you're going to get a ton of money just doing this little strat that I did talk about. The the Haywark, Haywark's Rest, I'll, I'll call it. We'll call it the Haywark's Rest uh, mechanic of uh, just running Haywark Hamlet without Jun missions once again. And then running your Jun missions in Valdo's Rest and you're going to generate tons of betrayal safe houses and katarinas like that as well that's all i really have to say i hope this was helpful if it was once again hit that sub button down below or leave me a like or a comment down below as well it is very much appreciated i love you all thank you so much for watching and until next time badger out